Hi, in today's video we want to talk about uh, tables and borders and we want to create three tables like on the left, three special cases. But first let's talk uh, something general about uh, borders. So we create a table, we insert a table, we go to table properties and here we have a tab named borders and we have some things here we discussed today about that so we have line arrangements okay we have no we can see here we have no lines no border we have just outside border if i click the there uh, in this case i have also a horizontal line let's uh, select everything and uh, in, let's increase the width of the line in order to see uh, better what we have done so we only have if i uncheck that we can see that we only have outer border and horizontal line this inner um, vert vertical line are just for us in order to arrange the text Another option here is all tables. And here uh, it's another option uh, which change only, only the outer border without changing inner lines. So all my tables are uh, blue. And if I'm clicking this one and I press a red color or magenta, I have outer border magenta and inside border remaining blue. If I click all to be blue, let's talk about uh, padding now. So the padding is the distance here, the white space here between the content of the cell and the borders. We can synchronize them. Uh, meaning that I have the same distance here on top, left, bottom, right. But also I can unsynchronize them. Now we have zero everywhere. You can see the text is very, very near to the border. Now let's unsynchronize and let's go. I want uh, left and right to have more and top and bottom to have less. You can see that I have more space here and that's much less space top and bottom now we can change the line uh, we have a preview here in order to see how the border will look like we have many options of borders also i can change the color and i can choose a custom color we can have all the codes here in order to set our color and also I can change the width of the border. Another option is shadow style. We have, let's insert a shadow in the right bottom position. Let's change to a lighter color and a small distance so it's much smaller now. Let's see how this look when we want to print, print it. Let's uh, increase the distance. You can see now much better the um, shadow. And let's change to a light shadow. Okay, so this is our shadow. Let's go to table properties and now uh, let's create, let's remove this table. Let's delete this table and let's try to create these three cases I have on the left. So I want a cell without um, border on the next one and only the horizontally uh, lines. So let's go table properties. Let's insert another. Let's insert with two columns. 
and let's go table properties we want to be blue let's increase the width to 4 and we want just horizontally uh, lines so in the top we don't want that we want inside and we don't want in the bottom so we click until we have uh, white over there we don't want that inside border we click again one click is for choosing the color we have one click is for remaining like before and one click is for removing the border so let's insert now let's copy let's select these cells and clone the formatting so again clone the formatting and paste here let's clone the formatting and paste here now when we are inserting a new row i have like uh, before let's uh, we can merge the cells also if i want to have a long line so we created something like this let's uh, delete the table and let's now let's insert the second uh, table let's see how to do that we have more rows here let's uh, insert another column after and now let's go to table properties no let's select just one row the row with uh, borders we want all the borders except on the right so let's change to blue we don't want inside we want outside so we don't want that or that we want these borders to be blue and also this and also this okay now it's very easy we just clone the formatting uh, every two row every second row is not okay because i have uh, this black border here so we go to none okay let's clone this formatting every second row and let's preview now is not very similar let's change a little bit uh, the distance here between uh, borders and text so let's select all the table and we increase that padding now you can see it looks much uh, much similar with that how we can do the third table we select this one and we remove that two times we click on each one and also i can clone the formatting from there to every cell i need okay so you can see i have like i wanted so we finish what we wanted but i want to show you something else i want to show you something about uh, selecting just some um, some columns or some um, rows and we can apply what we wanted just for them. I want on the left to be black. And I want, um, if I have inside cells, I want to be magenta. And if I have right margins, I want to be teal. So I have a right margin in my selection. Okay, so everything applies to selection. What I have here in table properties apply to selected area. So now if I, um, change this teal is changing to my selection not to table for example if i want a red line here um, on the right i click here let's choose uh, magenta or red let's choose red we want on the right and i don't want that inside border so i have that border now i want 
I don't want inside border and I want TL here on the right of the selection and I have TL on the right of my selection. The same thing I can do for rows. I want for that row to have um, a two width line with blue and not inside. I don't I don't have inside, I have just one row. And in the bottom I want to be brick. Okay, you can see my inner margin of tier disappear. I want to create back. So I have to insert um, here, I want to create a TL. Let's uh, choose TL and I want five points. Okay, so very easy to work with selection, table, cells and so on. Thanks for watching and please subscribe for more videos. Thank you.